Hi guys, Peter back for another video. I'm going to talk about one of our hit, uh, our great bands here in Australia, Cold Chisel. This is going to be a spotlight on guests. I'm going to walk you through um, my history and just sh uh, share with you what I think of albums and show, show you a bunch of CDs. I mean, they've done nine studio albums. Um, I have seven. I haven't got the last two. Um, there's no particular reason for that, but I just haven't. Uh, they had a great live album called Swing Shift, which I used to have. I don't have now, but I'll show you what I have on uh, CD. I, I was a big fan way back, um, early 80s, I guess. And uh, I'll just talk you through their, their albums. Now, the, the seed, this CD as it was released, here's the first, here's the first album, 1978's Cold Chisel. Now, when this remaster was done, they didn't have the name Cold Chisel, but if you look at the original album, it has Cold Chisel written in there in uh, big uh, black letters, but not um, these remastered are sort of like done like this. Uh, this is the debut. It's got some bonus tracks. Uh, you can see back there. Um, I, a really good debut, really strong. Uh, k Sun was the big hit here, uh, out here in Australia. Uh, the big song, I guess. I don't think it was a hit back in the day, but it's one of those timeless songs that went through the band's history and it was always brought up as one of their great tracks. Uh, Vietnam sort of war type um, uh, uh, content topic in that. Uh, yeah, a little uh, quite controversial, but great lyrically uh, from uh, the great Don Walker, the, the, the songwriter in the band and the keyboard player. Um, Piano and keyboard player. Um, other great ones. One Long Day. Um, Jimmy Barnes, who was the lead singer, shares the um, sings. Um, Ian Moss, the guitarist, sings um, the opening part of the song, and Jimmy Barnes finishes it. But it's one of their old classics. Sounds great live, actually. So if you want to check that one out, One Long Day. Other songs I recommend are like uh, Rosaline uh, from Ian Moss does the vocal. He was the guitarist in the band. Or they're still going. He's the guitarist in the band. Uh, very great vocal. Very um, soothing type song. Uh, some good rockers here in Daskazine and Home and Broken Harder. But that's their de debut. A very solid debut. I don't think it's their best album, but it's very... It's re a, quite a very um, strong debut, I would say. That's Colt in 1978. Then they went on to do Breakfast at Sweethearts uh, the year later, 1979. Um, bonus tracks on these, but we'll just talk about the album. Um, great songs. The Conversations was a, a big live um, favourite. A, a song I love, uh, Merry Go Round 2 was very good. A song I love, a great deep cut, uh, um is Dresden, the great guitar work from Ian Moss on that. I really love that. Uh, and Jimmy Barnes has a really good vocal on that. Um, of course, um, Goodbye Astrid, Goodbye, that was a live favourite. Uh, Ian Moss, Plaza, um, good, um, a tender sort of song. Ship and Steel and um, Breakfast at Sweet Arts got a, quite a bit of airplay back in the day here in Australia, but... Um, yeah, of course, the band, uh, if I forgot to mention all the members, Jimmy Barnes on vocals, Ian Moss guitar vocals, Don Walker keyboards, piano. He was, they all wrote, but he was the main songwriter. Um, Phil Small on bass, Stephen Press, which who is no longer with us, um, died a few years back um, on the drums. Yeah, and he was an excellent songwriter as well. But yeah, that that's a pretty good album. If not that bit, it's, it's um, very um, a must-have if you want to get into the band in here. But this is the one that blew the doors open. East could be their best album, a real classic, great cover that. Well, that's Jimmy Barnes in the bathtub there. Um, you know, full of classics all the way through. This band never really cracked it in America. They had some success in Europe. Uh, Germany, they quite were quite successful, so but very big in Australia, New Zealand, of course. You, they were number one band here in Australia. Um, if we're going back to the album, "Standing on the Outside," just a great song, really love it. 
And this band were, you know, lyrically, they were um, not silly lyrics at all, really thought-provoking thought -provoking lyrics. Never Before is a really good song, Ian Moss on the vocal. Quiet Girl's a beautiful track. Rise and Sun's a bit of rock rockabilly type song. My Baby, Ian Moss on vocals, written by Phil Small, was a very... Um, yeah, uh, got a, quite a bit of airplay there. Beautiful track. Uh, Tomorrow's a good rocker. Cheap Wine, big song here again. Uh, best Kept Low, Stephen Presswich song. Ida, about the TV personality or um, media personality, Ida Botros here in Australia. Uh, Star Hotel, Four Walls, a nice ballad, My Turn to Cry. Classic album here, one of the classic Australian albums, East. If you ask, is it my favourite? It's close between this and the next one for me, anyhow. I will, I will do a ranking one day of this of culture soon. I think I'm, I will. Uh, Circus Animals. Uh, this is a great, great album too. A um, uh, bit more hard hitting than East. A bit more, uh, slightly more raw, raw and heavier than East. I would say. But um, you got nothing. I want a great, a cracking opening song. Bow River, it's a classic here in Australia with um, uh, Ian Moss song, sung by Ian. Jimmy uh, fin uh, sings the end part. Forever Now was top five here. Great song. Written by, uh, um, I believe, Steve Presswich and Don Walk or just Steve Presswich. I um, can't recall. It's, but Steve Presswich had a big hand in that one. Uh, Ty Pan, a good rocker. Hound Dog, I love. Great rocker. Wild Colonial Boy. Exceptional. Uh, Ian Moss song, No Good For You, sung by Jimmy. Great song. When the War Is Over, that's one of the best. Letter to Alanis too. And even Numbers 4 is a good song. So, yeah, that's worth checking out as well. One of their best. And uh, 20th Century from... Uh, that was 82, the last one. This is 84. Uh, 20th Century, the title track is a favourite of mine. Saturday Night's a good track. Uh, one of the big songs on here, we got uh, Flame Trees, a beautiful track. I also liked Only One, uh, Only only One. Janelle um, um, is a good track. Ian Moss does um, uh, a great vocal and Jimmy is on that too. So this this was a good album, but they sort of, um, there's a little bit of um, friction within the band at this point, but... Um, Still, they come up with a really good album. It's the 20th century. Uh, then um, they broke up for many years and came back in the late 90s, 98 with The Last Wave of Summer. Saw them on this tour, excellent show. And, um, yeah, um, they saw them. Yeah, it was 1998, and I saw them again five years later. I didn't go. I haven't seen them way back in the 80s, though. I didn't really get, go to shows till about 1986. Um, what do we have? Way Down's a good one. Um, Things I Love In You is good. Um, what's it got? Angel In My Room. Red Sand's quite a good song. Water Into Wine. Had some good songs on this. But the, 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 the previous five albums were probably considered the classic period, especially East to... Well, circus animals, and then probably twentieth century as well. But uh, this is a really, this was a good comeback album. I thought nineteen ninety eight, the last wave of summer, and the other only one I got is two thousand and twelve. Uh, and there was a big long gap again till the next album. No plans I got uh, two thousand and twelve. Uh, no plans is on this. Uh, All for you. Some good ones on this. I haven't played this as much as a lot of the others. Um, yeah, what well, Dead and Laid to Rest, yeah. I, I recall quite a bit of it, but I am not as familiar with this as the classic period, you could say. But, yeah, they're the ones I have. So, yeah, so I'm the first seven studio albums. And I said, don't forget that live album, Swing Shift. So, yeah, I have, um, I used to play them to death back in the day, the, the band, and um, it's still, um, they bring back a lot of good memories, and a lot of their songs are really still great, um, still sound great to this day. So there you go, that's all about Cold Chisel. I will do some reviews on them, and I will do a ranking. 
that's to come. But I hope you enjoyed this spotlight on Cold Chisel, and I'll see you guys very soon for the next one. Bye for now. Bye.